Hello friends, this video on Organic Chemistry Basics Part 50 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Now let's see estimation of halogens. So we have chlorine, you have bromine, you have iodine. I want to estimate the halogen. So in this case, we use Carrier's method. So in this case, a known mass of organic compound is heated with nitric acid in the presence of silver nitrate. Please note, a known mass of organic compound, this is my organic compound, is a, it is heated with nitric acid in the presence of silver nitrate. So this is my HNO3 nitric acid, this is my silver nitrate and this is my organic compound. Correct. So now in this case whatever carbon and hydrogen I had, let's suppose this guy has carbon and hydrogen. And chlorine. So whatever carbon and hydrogen we have got, it is oxidized to carbon dice in water and we don't care about it, let it go. Right? But we have chlorine. So we have AgNO3. This reacts with my chlorine. So I have AgNO3. This reacts with any of the halogen. So it gives AgX. So AgX I have got. Right? AgX I have got silver halide. You can easily filter it. You can dry it and then you can weigh it. So I have AGX, you just filter it, wash it, dry it and weigh it. So with that I can find the percentage of halogen. So if you see here, the percentage of halogen will be what? Atomic weight of halogen, because this will vary always. Right? By molecular weight of my silver, whatever you get, AGX into mass of AGX which is formed right by mass of organic compound into 100. Why? See, you should know the atomic weight of halogen. You should know the molecular mass weight of this guy form because this guy actually will give you the mass of halogen the mass of halogen actually correct and this is the mass of organic compound so mass of halogen total mass of halogen found in the experiment by mass of organic compound will give you the percentage of halogen so let me show you actually so let's suppose m mass of agx was formed so i know that one mole of one mole of X implies will give one mole of AGX. So what is the molecular weight of X? So we'll write here molecular weight of X implies molecular weight of AGX. Correct. So let's suppose the molecular weight of X is let's suppose 80. Correct. So 80 grams of X, let me assume it's a bromine, will give you AGX will be now 188. 188 grams of AGX. Correct. So 1 gram of AGX will be, will be what? So 1 gram of AGX will be what? 1 gram of AGX, if you get, this implies molecular weight of X by molecular weight of AGX. This much gram of X correct and if you get m gram of m gram of AGX this imply this whole thing into m correct so this is what you, is nothing but m gram of halogen so percentage of halogen is what the gram of halogen divided by the weight of oiling upon into 100 so you get this formula. Correct. Let me take with this value then it will be clear. So let me assume this is my bromine. So one mole of bromine is bromine, uh, molecular weight of bromine is what? 80. And molecular weight of AGX is what? 188. That means 80 grams of bromine will give 180 grams of 
silver bromide so that means 188 gram of silver halide uh, silver bromide if you get this implies that we had 80 grams of bromine in the organic compound so if you got 1 grams of silver bromide that means you had how much if it is 1 then this is 80 by 188 correct so if you have got 1 gram of agx that means you have 80 by 180 grams of silver in the uh, sorry bromine in the compound and if you have you got m gram of agx that means you have 80 by 180 into m gram of bromine in the organic compound correct and this is what we have done here let's take some examples in this say that in the carious method of halogen 0.15 gram of organic compound gave 0.12 gram of AgBr. That means I have my organic compound. So it gave me when I reacted with actually AgNO3, it gives me AgBr. Correct. So it has some bromine actually. Correct. So either you can directly use the formula or you can just use this fashion also. So bromine, the molecular mass is what? 80. And this guy is 88, 188. Correct molecular mass I'm talking about. Correct. So you can say that 188 gram of AgBr if you have got this implies 80 gram of bromine in organic compound. I can write. So if you have got 188 gram of uh, silver bromide, this implies that there was 80 gram of bromine in organic compound. But you have got how much? You have got 0.12 gram of AgBr. So let me make it first one. So if you have got, let's suppose one gram of AgBr, this implies you have 80 by 188 gram of Br in my organic compound. Correct. But I have got 0.15 gram. So if I got point, sorry, if I got 0.12 gram of AgBr, so 0.12 gram of AgBr if I have got in the output, this implies 80 by 188 into 0.12 gram of bromine so this is my gram of bromine in my organic compound I want to find percentage comp uh, percentage of bromine this is nothing but this whole thing whatever I got divide by mass of the organic compound in 200 and you saw that you get something as 34.04 percent easy only Let's take one more numerical. Similar thing, but instead of bromine, I have chlorine here. So I have my organic compound, right? It has some chlorine. So it gives me AgCl. So mass of chlorine is what? 35.5. Mass of AgCl is what? 108 plus 35.5, 143.5, right? So AgCl is, silver is 108 plus 35.5, correct? So if you solve this, you get 143.5. So 143.5 AgCl if you have got that means you have 35.5 chlorine, right? So if I have got 1 gram of silver chloride, this implies I have 35.5 by 143.5 gram of chlorine in organic compound. And but, but how much I have got? I have got this much gram of silver chloride. So I have got 0 0.7. 55740 5, 5, gram of AgCl and this implies that I have 35.5 143.5 into 0 0.5740 gram of chlorine in organic compound. So if I have this much grams of chlorine in organic compound, my percentage of chlorine is what? This much gram, what I have got divide by Total mass of organic compound that is this guy in 200. So you saw all this, you get 37.56 percentage. And that's my answer. Correct. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors, and much more. Thanks once again.